Hi and welcome. Thank you very much for joining us uh, today. It's a bit, um, it's a bit different actually. I have to say because uh, normally what I tend to do is I tend to um, do a deck for uh, Broken Deck Monday and uh, and just sort of leave it as that. But um, but today what I've actually got is. I've just got I've just got a feeling that I can actually get a little more out of this um, uh, a little more out of this deck than than played out yesterday. Um, so the deck is uh, a, a deck that Alessandro Cascoli ran, um, and I have had a little chat with him, uh, and, and I do want to say a big thank you to him for giving me you know a little bit of advice and. Um, you know, just a, a bit of a chat over, um, a bit of a talk and commentary over the, the, the deck that he actually ran. Um, and uh, wanted to try and make sure that uh, I got the best of it. When I actually ran the deck yesterday, um, we actually had um, <laughs> really, really poor luck. We actually had not one, not two, but three different fire decks that were actually being played on PT CGO in a row and even then I was actually getting to uh, maybe one or two prizes before for the end. Now this is actually uh, the start of um, my experience with this deck so some of it did come down to you know poor sequencing things like that while I was trying to get used to the cards but um, the deck list is in front of you right now um, just in case uh, you haven't had time to, to tune in to yesterday's, uh, Alexandro, by the way, is is the guy with the beard and the blue t-shirt, so they look as though they've had a lot of fun. Team Italy, big shout out to Team Italy, how you doing? Uh, you uh, awesome guys, honestly, look, look as though you're having great fun on um, on your trip through Malmo. Um, but the deck list is there uh, for you to uh, build your own version as well. Um, I just want to try and quickly fix up something because I realise that my studio cam is not working so let's see whether I can actually get that sorted first. And uh, while I'm while I'm doing that, if you uh, if you are watching, join us on the chat. Just uh, bring up the YouTube chat, and uh, it'll be good to see who is on there at the moment. this um, I have no idea why the studio cam is not working at the moment. Let's try this one. It's actually working on one of them but in but not in the other. So uh, I'm gonna have to come up with some really daft picture to put there, which I will do now. Because we always want to try and get something going. And then we'll be off and away. So yeah, I was like running this yesterday and um, I just didn't just wasn't happy about it at all honestly um and like playing out there were a couple of people who did see it being played and i just thought nah it's got to be there's got to be more to this than meets the eye here we go uh, let's send that back nothing wrong with that at all there we go there we go let's try it again go down Here we go. Yes, actually, here in time. Yes. Hello, Matt. How you doing, mate? I don't know why the studio cam is not working. Um, it is actually working on my other slide. I mean, like, just to prove, this was the actual setup that I had. Oh, this is the actual setup I had. He says the actual setup I had yesterday, and it all falls to pieces. Um, Matt, have you had a chance to to build the deck to have a look at the deck? Uh, do let us know, and uh, we, we're literally imminently going to get uh, started on this one. Let's try this. Teams. 
No, do you know what? Forget the camera. Oh! <laughs> he says forget the camera and as if by magic, we are actually here. So, I'm all good man, got high hopes for this deck. Not had a chance to build it yet. Yeah, wait some Muse. Do you know what? Muse? Muse? So, uh, big shout out to Stan. Stan actually, I think, got the finalist position in Malmo. Uh, he's in seniors. And I actually sold uh, a Mew to him, a Mew EX. And uh, as it as it stood, um, immediately I, uh, someone else wanted a Mew. I think it was Logan. Uh, Logan wanted a, a, a Mew. So Reese came up and bought another Mew. And I was out a Mew EX. And that was at uh, Canuck. Um, and then what happened was I immediately thought well, left us, left it and about a couple of days later I thought no I really want these views back you know um, and I had to I had to over trade for them on eBay Devin yo how's it going Devin looking forward to this deck I'm honestly I'm going to try and make sure that I do not misplay I'm just going to spend literally one minute going through what each card does Oranguru instrument. Now I actually, I actually asked Alessandro about Oranguru, and I said, you know, maybe I might need to have another quick look at that, maybe because I can't get any. And he said, no, Orang Oranguru, definitely, definitely the best card. So maybe I'm not using it as much as I should do. Cabalion, I must use Cabalion to clear up at the end. I must use Cabalion to clear up in the end. I must use Cabalion to clear up with a quick Lele Guzma. So hopefully that's that's in my head. Claw Sash is amazing. Um, I, I must also make sure that when I'm testing this out, I'm not kind of going OTT and knocking out little things like Zoras with Meteor Tempest and dumping up my energy. And it's easily done because if you're not familiar with actual cards and you're playing them for the first time around because it's a new format, then it can be done, you know. But hey, we're here. This is not a tournament, you know. We're here to to play around and figure out what's going on. Solgaleo Prism, really, really like Solgaleo Prism. Radiant Star, keep it on the bench, don't lose it. If you're gonna lose it, lose it when, when you can afford to lose it. Um, Mew, because it's Mew, uh, copy all the basic attacks, it's all fun. Three Lele's, I think I wouldn't go four Lele's, honestly, just Lele's just keep them clogging out, but I would really seriously think about um, raising, raising some of the others. So, with that in mind, while you're all watching, I also wanna give a quick shout out to Seb Simmons and the reason why Seb Simmons is in the picture is because he performed particularly well at Malmo as well and it was watching if I got this right it was watching Seb Simmons playing the deck that inspired Alessandro so I suppose I should really put um, Alessandro on um, you know on 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 the name of the video and, and, and the credits but and I'm playing with his list but it is worth actually highlighting what Seb did so instead of uh three dusk main necrozma he actually played uh four and i've got the fourth one ready there look at that beautiful rainbow rare there okay four dust main necrozma gx was actually played he played the one sol Ganyo. he played three mew which i'm surprised because i actually get the feeling that i should actually raise the mew count to four i actually like starting off with it and i don't mind discarding stuff for it if you know what i mean Three Tapulele GX at uh, the same. Uh, Cabalion is there. Now, he also played the Registeel. Uh, so, let's just bring up the Registeel just for completion. Uh, there we go. There's the Registeel. So, we've got uh, Turbo Arm. Great start. And this is, this is the thing. I, I just felt that you just need just that little one extra starter because I was starting off with Tapulele too frequently and also Turbo Arm is great because you attach a basic energy that you can discard using Ultra Ball and you can just start charging things up. I really, really would like to uh, playtest that. If, it, if it's starting to fall apart in playtesting over the next hour or so, then um, I'm going to actually insert the Registeel. And he and Seb also played the Oranga route as well. So the count of Pokemon that, uh, that Seb ran was 14, okay? Uh, the trainer line that Seb ran, if I just blow that up, um, it actually had four Sycamore, four Guzma, so it went to four Guzma, possibly taking extra hits very quickly. Uh, 2N, so the same 2N count, three Cynthia, so instead of four, instead of three Cynthia, three Guzma, he played two Cynthia, 
full Guzma, okay? Same number of Ultra Ball, same number of Max Elixir, um, two Nest Balls. It actually went down to two Nest Balls, compensating for the extra basic that was present. And I actually did find that maybe that Nest Ball was a bit excessive in yesterday's testing, but uh, keep it as it is at the moment. Uh, two Field Blower, two Pal Pad, interestingly enough. Shuffle two supporter cards from your discard pile into your deck. So I'll be interested to see what actually happens. I suppose what you could do is you could be a little more aggressive with your Professor Sickles and then recycle the ends. And I think the Pal Pad is actually um, good for just recycling the ends right at the very beginning. You can also sycamore your Cynthia's away knowing that you can bring them back in. So it kind of covers the basis of dropping that Cynthia account. You don't really want to have... Well, do you really want to have Cynthia at the start? No, you kind of really want to try and dump uh, Metal Energy as quickly as possible. Um, four Float Stone. Um, and the Metal Energy count was actually 16. So the one difference I can see, or two differences I can see immediately, was that uh, Seb didn't run the Gladion. And in addition to that, he actually also did not run the Parallel City. Okay, so there you go. Uh, right, okay, back to the comments. Let's just have a look. Um, let's just very, very quickly just go over here. Right, okay, with the comments. So, Devin sticking with uh, Buzzrock recently to looking to try new stuff. Yeah, um, I'm starting to find that a lot of comments like are on the forums at the moment are just like starting to complain about the, 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 the format being maybe a little bit stale. But do you know what? No, um, the format is fresh. It's brilliant. And we've also got Ultra Prism opening a lot of combos as well. So uh, definitely looking to try new stuff. Definitely from Ultra Prism. Seeing some great usage of Palpel. Seeing great usage of uh, the new Oranguru, Resource Management Oranguru. That's going to start getting a little bit of traction as well. So that's nice. We've got the Solgalia Prism here as well. So yeah, I'm quite, quite excited with that. Right, Matt. 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 Da, 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 da. With Rescue Stretcher, I don't think you really need the extra Mew. How interesting. Okay. Uh, if you two get KO'd, you shuffle them into your deck and Ultra Nest for them. How interesting. Stretcher for three Mew, mate. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna stick with um, gonna stick with Alessandro's one because it's always good to try and figure out like slight differences. I quite like the format to be honest. It's good balance of macro and micro. Definite emphasis on the micromanagement. I mean, like it's not like the Lux Chomp days where you just have to try and set up as quickly as possible all new two walls. So, right, okay, should we get uh, should we get a game going? Let's get a game going, guys. All right, I hope the connectivity is good as well. Uh, if it's starting to slow down or the quality is starting to go down, please let me know so I can actually just switch off. Ooh. All right, okay. Please, no fire. I want to face a fire deck, All right? Three fire decks. Honestly, yesterday I was like, "Hey, it's a great deck, guys!" And I just lost three on the trot, and it wasn't fair at all. So, okay. Please share the uh, the soft fungus nine eight seven six. I guess that's not his birthday. Fungus, coin coin flip. Right. Okay. So we're gonna go start with. Uh, I might change that metal coin, it's just annoying. Now, you see, I like having the Mew as the starter, okay? Okay. Keep it done right. Um, automatically, you would think, oh, Lele, Bridget, right? But this is not that type of deck. Uh, let's do Nest Ball, because what I want to do is I want to try and get the Sol oh, search for the Solgania, make sure it's there. You see, if the Solgania wasn't there, uh, Alessandro is correct in, I think, in suggesting Lele, Gladion, and then try and fish it out, but that's all right. Okay, so we're going to do that. All right, okay. Um, do I really want a Lele at this moment in time? The answer is not really. Uh, but I could do the Cynthia. Is it worth drop in the space for it um uh, let for Cynthia. yeah do you know what because i really want to have that metal drop so let it let us do it and i could also be a bit wise i've got three guzma got the cabalion 
need to get that Gossamer and Crossbow. 12 energies in the deck. So let's, let's see. I've got the Ultra Ball in hand as well. I think I can afford to do that Ultra Ball as well. Um, I've also got the Float Stone, so let's empty that. Uh, do I need the Field Blower right now? Hmm. Possibly need it later. And the Ultra Ball can also just add a pinch. If I do draw into it, I can actually get the Soul Canyons back as well. Right, okay, so I've got a Nest Ball. I'm happy with that. And I've also got the Ultra Ball as well, so I can actually dump that energy in a Sycamore or Cynthia for the next one. Um, let's secure. So I've got two Pokemon I can access. Okay, and now we've got. So, wow, that is actually really smart stuff. Okay. Now what I can do is just main the crossbow. Okay, bench that. That's a great setup, actually. I will pass. The only thing that I didn't have, I suppose, was the energy. It would have been nice to have drawn a third energy, and I suppose I could have Ultra Ball the sit, but I don't want to get rid of that Sycamore. I, I would much rather dump it in and then have. The chance to draw into it again and then just draw draw on um okay so my opponent has got some restoration stuff going on going around it in the long the long way attaching the energy okay right so uh what we we'll gonna do is yeah i'm definitely gonna do that i'm definitely gonna get this i mean i could fill spot with uh, oh I could leave the spot for um, uh, a lele at a pinch I could use it um, got float stone I'm gonna save that I'm gonna save that field blower just for now two over there and yeah he's got four actually I oh, only wish that only wish that I could um, can have another energy in hand and I need to I need to charge up Mew. Can I get the three energy in play on the other Mew? I could if I did if I did Ultra Ball. Um yeah do you know what I have to I have to I have to try and get There's something that I can keep in my hand that I don't mind discarding with Sycamore next turn. Not too sure. Not too sure. Not too sure. Possibly, potentially, another Mew. Because I've got Rescue Stretcher. I do have the Rescue Stretcher in, in the deck. So, alright, okay, let's just thin it out. Thin it out a little bit. Keep the Mew in hand. And then copy uh, Radiant Star. So here we go. Got one, two, three. And let's assume that he does have a double colorless in hand. I think one on there, one on there. And if he does Guzma, I don't mind if Guzma's out in the crossbow, I'll keep the energy on there. Um, if he does take out the Mew, I will inevitably draw into something else. Let's. Let's all right. Let's put it on the active, okay? Because if I put it on the bench, I'm just literally asking for him to Guzma, and then I'll be three energy down. Um, looking at the attack there, that's fine. I baited one of the field blowers. Oh, that's all right. Okay, so and right. So just let's just remind ourselves of what Darkrai does. Um, know about the ability Restor uh, restoration dark cleave 130 isn't affected by resistance dead end special conditions that a pokemon is knocked out so i just need to be front in oh wow okay i actually have the good oh there you go Ooh, okay uh two entries and one new prize a good start definitely I, I i can't even remember how many turns i had with that but that was that was actually pretty good. Um, so straight into game two. Thank you. Yes, thank you. 
Uh, what I would have done is I would have just gizmoed up his dark cry and then just attach and just called raw. So. Hmm. Okay, I'm looking at a guard jump. That's going to be quite interesting. So I'm just going to front, front, front with me and just try and. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to just. GG's. Uh, I'm going to try and just keep fronting with Mew and uh, just do the exchange. And, and if he does. And then the thing is. Oh, dear. I'm angry. Um, the thing is, they could target the Solgania, but it really does have 160, so they just can't really take it down. And you've got float stones anyway, so you can take them down. And you just set up other stuff, you know. There's so many other different options. I think this is a good start as well, because I can actually empty my hand of five cards and draw. Got the Lele, so I can just completely go nuts. If he puts a tool down, it's even perfect. If he puts two tools down, it's brilliant. So, yeah, we have done a video earlier. Um, earlier, I think, earlier in the month about budget Garchomp, so I do know my way but there are two different um gibbles so zero retreat cost if it has fighting energy a lot of people just promote without that so we're going to death ball first try and get an idea and shape of what we've actually got so galleon not prized that's brilliant okay and let's do do we do another one because then i can ultra ball Considering this, and then get the lele as well, and I could, I could let, yeah. All right, okay. We're gonna put the float, gonna put the float stone on the orangery because I can't really attach with that. Okay, nest ball next. Go for the mew. Okay, right. Um, now if I did ultra ball, secure. Yeah, I'm going to ultra ball because I really do want to get as many NG into the discount as possible. It's actually better to do that. Um, Lele. If I really wanted to, I could feel blow with my own float stone and draw two cards. Which is what I'm going to do. Oh, that's mad. But I'm going to do it because I've already retreated anyway and I'm playing full float stone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to instruct for two, hopefully draw into a metal energy, and then I will simply. I've got the max elixir. Hmm. Okay, um, at a pinch. I'm really tempted to max elixir and go on to the radiant star. I am tempted to do that because if I don't land the energy, I you know what I'm going to do that because if I don't land the energy with the um, sycamore, um, I need two spaces, one from you. I don't really want to use that. I don't want to use that, Lenny, so I'm going to stick that. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, so the only problem is that I did not have. Um, I didn't have the. Um, the. Dust Name the Cosmo. I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to pretend that I don't have any cards. But let's also figure out what's in our prizes. Uh, we've got three dust main cosmo in there. Power City is there. Um not ideal is it? Alright, okay. So I'm gonna pretend that I'm Cynthiaing next turn. I'm not gonna promote my Solgaleo. And I could encounter which is gonna be smarter play. 
And that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to encounter. No point in plugging energies onto the lelies. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm just going to pretend. I don't have a Guzma in hand, but I'm watching it. Never enough giggles, the best in my opinion. Discard a card, draw one. I don't really like the Ascension one though. You know, because it's... Oh, and he's got the rare candy, so... What's he going to do? Cynthia? He doesn't need the Cynthia, he can just hit with that... What is it? The blade? A quick dive. He can actually hit the Mew anyway. Hmm... So I think what he's going to do is going to end... There's a tricky one. There's a tricky one. Okay. See, oh, that's a waste of something. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to take down the door. I don't know, maybe I'm not doing this one right. I'm not sure. Sure. Now I could also just promote the Solganeo and just but once that's knocked out, I'm in a bit of pickle. I could I mean ideally what I want to get is I'm gonna get another new Very much depends on what he does. He's also got a Riley active as well, so what I can do is I can actually take down a Riley. What is it weak to? He's already. He's already played a Cynthia. So. Has he got it? Yeah, it, I think he was stuck because he didn't actually have. Um, a chance to search out for something and I can really take advantage of that because his Ryulu is weak to psychic so as long as I can do 40 to him it should be fine and I can do that um oh, I really 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 want to take out his Ryulu what's that that's ascension one, tough one, tough one. It's incredibly tough. Um, Twenty forty. Can only do forty because um, energy drive does not apply uh, weakness. I'm trying to think. Do I have something in my deck that will do forty damage if I mess go for it? Um, not even Kabalion. Maybe Kabalion. If I manage to get the Kabalion, that might actually do it. I'm forced to do the same thing. Okay, right. Uh, so, we do have a Mew on the bench now. Um, that, uh, potentially on the bench. However, what I could do is I could... Um, pop that there, pop that there. I could. It's frustrating now, but the Kabalion, yeah, it is 30 plus, isn't it, for every price taken, so it would only do 60. So there's a bit of a problem there. Um,. Ugh, right, okay. Well, what I can do is I can preserve one of the energies that I've attached. There we go. So... Okay, let's max it uh, Again. It was Revenge Blast, so... Unfortunately, I can't do it. He 
do 200 if he takes down the dust main and cross now. decisions that have to be put into play. Um, Alright, let us radiant stuff. He's going to be able to do 50 on anything anyway, so... If he's going to take something out... There's no point in putting it on the second Mew. That's on the bench. He'll just take that out and I'll have the Mew with only one energy in the active position. So he must have just drawn... He must have just drawn that. Why did he do that? Why didn't he get Lucario? Skylar. So is he just doing that again? The problem is that Garchomp can snipe. Is he going to retreat and then just hit for 50? So I could Guzma, because as soon as he has Lucario active, he has no search. Right, um, this, this is frustrating because I want to hit him with, with me. I want to take out that Lucario. to get I need to get the Lele. Lele for Guzma and then bring out that Ryuli. But then what will I be able to copy? I just can't copy another card. Um The alternative is for me to Cynthia and take down his Garchomp because he will be behind and I can just do Meteor Tempest. Uh, do you know what? I'm a bit scared but I do know that I have... <gasps> Cynthia! Oh no! What's going on? Oh. Too much deliberation Freddy. And what I wanted to do was I was actually thinking of getting the Gladion, but I couldn't get the Gladion because I flicked past the Lele. So I don't do I didn't do what I normally do, which is put the Lele and then start thinking because <laughs> There's mine. Never mind. Never mind. I couldn't even Oranguru. Ah. <laughs> Right, let's just smack him, shall we? All right. Um, can't be, I can't believe I did all that. Uh, 
let's put mu, let's put that, and let's put mu again. <laughs> All right, let's find something. Something to get mu. Okay, we got the mu. Uh, we do also have a Cynthia as well, so I'm gonna. I'm, I don't want a Cynthia. I don't want a Cynthia to float staying away either. Oh, go away, timer. Honestly, I mean, like, let me play my game. Ooh. Mm. I have to do something clicks on, on one thing. On something anyway, so let's just stick that there. Uh, come on then. You forgot you were Ultra Ball and thought you were Lele. <laughs> yeah, no. It's so silly, honestly. Don't worry, I'll I'll get him back. I'll get him back. <laughs> I'm also hungry. I haven't had my tea. I might have a break, get some nutrition, and then come back later. <laughs> so he's looking for a double color list and he's just going to smack me as soon as he finds it. He's I didn't actually track what he was doing. Did he actually carry for a Cynthia? Oh, but he needed the Cynthia to get the 100, right? Okay, so clearly he hasn't got the double color list or he's just... There you go. Look at my hand! Three sycamores. And Lele, and a Glacier. Gladion. Who needs, who needs supporters? Three sycamores though. That's just harsh. Targo down to two prizes. Oh, here we go. 